Yes. So as AI regulation comes in, the same way we have like uh, community notes on Twitter or whatever guidelines on YouTube, like, you know, I talked about AI, There's, there might be something under this video on YouTube where it's like, oh, actually, AI is not the demon or whatever, whatever sort of uh, Wikipedia link or whatever's going on. What if that gets implemented into some kind of AI to build sermons? And that's when you start to cross the line between it's a tool to, oh, it's, uh, it's shaping my thoughts and ideas. And I don't know if it's going to happen that way. And I would imagine that it's going to depend on products. And so the, the data pool from which AI is generated will become a very important question. Connecting it to the, just the open internet is, uh, that's a little, uh, not scary. Scary is not the right. It's just a premature. It's, it's, it's not responsible, irresponsible. <laughs> that's the word I was looking for. It's irresponsible to just connect it to the open internet and have unrelentless data of any kind, you know, feed into the AI. I, I suppose that is the big fear of all the Silicon Valley people and Elon and, all those folks that are like, oh, it's all going to take over and it could be good or it could be bad. But in any case, that's kind of a you know rabbit trail in itself. But in general here, again, I don't see any of the issues they brought up as actual barriers to AI adoption when it comes to church. It's going to happen and it's going to be a tough time. I think the value of meetups, small groups, having actual Bible study with like just, just the Bible. And I did see this story and I, I saw it last minute, so I couldn't really dig too much into it, into you know, where the quote comes from and everything else. Uh, but I will mention it because it, it is relevant. This is from slaynews.com. I, I don't know this outlet, but the headline is WEF, that's the World Economic Forum, calls for AI to rewrite Bible, create religion. This is a quote, religion that are actually correct. And this was stated by uh, Yuval Noah Harari, senior advisor of the World Economic Forum, a guy we've quoted for years. And um, uh, uh, he's Israeli. I believe he is... Uh, an openly gay man and I, I, that will all become relevant touching points as we go along with today's episode uh, but you know quotes like this a, a lot of the alternative media are picking up on little things like this where uh, Yuval Harari specifically is very much targeted as like anything he says that's like this just gets all media just all over it and they're oh my gosh can you believe this guy said this it's like yes I can he's been saying stuff like this for like 10 years <laughs> I'm glad people are waking up, but okay, yes, we, we get it. This guy thinks that, you know, the Bible's not true. We understand that. He thinks AI is going to become the gods that the Bible, better than the gods, I think was one of the quotes from last year, was he said, the, the AI is going to create gods that are better than the biblical gods and all this stuff. So it's like, uh, all right, you're you're kind of crazy town, Bible prophecy fulfilling kind of guy. So anyway, I think the importance of Israel, specifically Jerusalem, eschatologically will come up here and tie it all together. But uh, what I want to mention here is that we're entering with this, you know, going back to this AP story with the chatbot and, and sermons, we're entering, I don't know if you've noticed, you've probably noticed this as a listener or viewer of Canary Cry News Talk over the years, but I've noticed an increase, an acceleration in technologically induced spiritual experiences. 